J.D. Vance launched a blistering attack today on Walls, calling it, quote, shameful that Walls left the National Guard before the Iraq War. Here's Vance today in Michigan, where Walls and Harris will be tonight. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him. He said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? Let's go now to News Nation's Joe Khalil, live in Washington. Facts matter, Joe, and in Vance's attack, there's both some truth and some lies. Yeah, and Elizabeth, the phrase that J.D. Vance used today, just before the clip you played, is stolen valor, which you know very well. That's a very serious accusation, implying that Tim Walls lied about his service record. We don't exactly have evidence of that. There are, however, some legitimate questions about the timing of Tim Walls' retirement that had really dogged him for years now, because Waltz did, in fact, retire from the military exactly four months before his unit from Minnesota deployed for Iraq. That much is true. Now, we just heard the attack from J.D. Vance there. I want to play one more. This is Congressman Michael Waltz. He's a Republican from the state of Florida. He's also a Trump campaign surrogate, and he happens to be a decorated veteran himself, a Green Beret. This is what he says about Waltz's retirement here. Take a listen. It's kind of like the quarterback of a big team walking away from from their team right before they go to the Super Bowl. Uh, I've never heard anything like it, especially the fact that he was a command sergeant major. I've never heard of a commander or a sergeant major stepping away from their unit before they go down range. So we did just in the last hour get a statement from the Harris Walls campaign. This is what it says in part here. Governor Walls would never insult or undermine any Americans service to this country. In fact, he thanks Senator Vance for putting his life on the line for our country. That is the American way. Now, let's take a look at Walls's record. He did serve 24 years in the Army National Guard. He enlisted when he was 17 years old. He rose to the rank of Command Sergeant Major, although, as Walls points out himself, he didn't retire at that rank. He was deployed to Europe in 2003 in a support role for American forces in the Middle East. And Walls says he retired in May of 2005 because he wanted to run for Congress. Again, that was just four months before his unit deployed to Iraq. Now, back in 2018, He's running for governor. Three retired command sergeants major took Walls to task in a letter they wrote to the West Central Tribune, and they essentially made the argument that Walls abandoned his unit, arguing that he didn't actually have to retire to run for Congress. Now, Elizabeth, because some of these accusations are not new, Walls has heard them before, he has responded before. And in the past, he has said, my record speaks for itself. He's also suggested that people who wrote those op-eds about him in 2018 just disagree with him politically. And the campaign, the Harris Walls campaign today, uh, pointed us to sources, uh, other men who've served with him, who say that he really struggled with the decision to retire. This was not an easy thing. He loved serving in the military. So it is a complicated story there with some layers. Yeah, but Joe, it's worth pointing out that the orders to go to Iraq came to his unit after he retired because J.D. Vance on the campaign trail tried to imply that he bailed on his unit once they knew that they were going to Iraq. He didn't know they were going to Iraq when he retired. So I'm not 100 percent sure about that. We had heard from others that they got a notice that they possibly may be deploying uh, as early as January or February of 2005. He made the decision to retire ultimately back in May. Now, whether he was considering retiring before he had known that they were going to deploy, uh, that is another question, one that we've asked directly to the campaign, and we didn't get an answer on that. Um, but I think the timeline is a little bit murky there, and it would behoove, I think, the campaign and all of us if uh, we got a direct answer to that question, when exactly he made the decision and when exactly they found out they were deploying. Right. But he said he retired to run for Congress after volunteering right. to serve 24 years uh, in the right. National Guard, which is service to our country regardless. Uh, Joe Khalil. Certainly. 
Thanks yeah. so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.